so when you're doing nearly three shows a week over the course of 52 weeks, it's really challenging to try to pick your top three shows of the year. But here it goes, my top three choices for 2021, starting with Shimon Toltz, CEO and co-founder of Daptree.io. Uh, his topic was product-led growth for B2B developer tools and companies. I think what they're doing to make uh, developers' lives easier is great. However, what I really, really liked about this show was Shimon himself, a super fun storyteller, the kind of guy you'd really want to go out and have a drink with and just be friends with. Super cool. You know, when you work at a company and uh, when you scale it to 400 engineers, you start small and, and you grow and grow and grow. And as the general manager of the infrastructure division, my mission was to build all of the infrastructure and put in all the development standards and security policies and POC new technologies for all of the other business units. And one day a developer made a misconfiguration, a mistake. I make mistakes all the time. And this mistake got itself into production and caused the major production outage. And at this point, I thought to myself, okay, Mistakes happen, we post-mortem it, we have identified what was the issue. But then I asked myself the question, how am I supposed to propagate this development standard and to make sure that we will not make the same mistake again? My second pick is democratizing access to the to economic da activity data uh, to the world. This was with Sanders Party, the CEO and co-founder of Moonview. So I really liked how they were basically recording public activity in public spaces. You mentioned, you know, the t outside the Tesla factory uh, to provide data uh, and sort of level the playing field in what is the, the economic universe. So I thought that was super interesting. And uh, Sanders himself was a really cool guy as well. With how do we collect, um, you know, data about public companies um, to sort of, you know, I don't want to say keep them honest, but to bring a level of transparency to, to what's going on. And um, so that idea um, was big idea number one. And big idea number two is I brought in um, the concept of a platform uh, to put those two things together. So um, the, you know, there's a big words there, you know, economic surveillance, um, you know, um, um, observable revenue. Well, well, what does that really mean? Um, and my final pick is bridge, building bridges to racial unity. This was with Michael O'Neill, the founder and CEO of Get Well Network. However, the focus on the show wasn't Get Well itself so much as Graybridge, the nonprofit that Michael um, was building with his community of friends. And, you know, this show was very inspiring to me because essentially it's about being the change that you wish to see in the world. We know holistically what a person's situation actually is with what they call in the industry, social determinants of health. When you actually can, when you reach out and talk to people and you understand um, what they're dealing with from both an opportunity and challenge standpoint, you can really help to begin to give them the kind of access to care they need to have the very best outcome for themselves. So on the healthcare side and Get Well Network, that is the work that we are doing and we are measuring like crazy the impact on a person's um, um, satisfaction, on a person's quality and safety outcomes, on a person's access to care, kind of through these tools, if you will. And we're just seeing the engagement rates in the Latinx community of 74%, in the African-American community, 72% is actually outstripping, you know, in the same markets. Um, the folks we're actually serving uh, who happen to not be uh, people of color or, or in other communities that we're actually reaching out to. So there you go, my top picks. I hope you like them. Go ahead and check them out. And Happy New Year, everyone. See you in 2022.